Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success Hey, what's up everybody, this is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the success chronicles and this one is a long time coming uh -huh. we got my guy maurice big mo hopson on with us and we go back we go way back i'm truly excited to have him on to highlight him and share his journey and his story with you so first mo man thanks so much for taking the time to to interview with the success chronicles my man, it's good to be here with you, Chip. You, you're absolutely right, man. We've been talking about this for the longest time, right? Yes, sir. Too it's long. Good to be with you, man. Yeah, it's good to be with you. Well, well, if you don't mind sharing, uh, you know, I know your journey, your story, but if you don't mind sharing a little bit about, you know, your background, you know, who you are and what it is you do, so the audience will have an idea of, of who is Mo. You know, man, it's a, it's a, for me, sometimes that's a hard question because I, 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 I'm i all over the place. Uh, but, you know, I come, you know, from, you know, born and raised in Houston, man, had a had a good um, family upbringing, if you will. Uh, and saying that, me and my, my, my sister and I, we we chuckle sometimes. We we're we're products of divorced uh, parents. Uh, but our parents did a real good job and they, they couldn't get along, but they got along for us. Mm. Uh, and so we had the best of both worlds there and, and everything they exposed us to as man was probably the most valuable thing ever. It's not anything I've, I didn't, I never went without, uh, you know, shucks, man. And like, I just don't know where to start with this, man. There's so many, like, yeah. I, yeah. um, yeah. you know, uh, Attended, went to the Jack Yates Senior High School, um, uh, 1985 state champion. Uh, real happy about that. Went to West Texas. Uh, all uh, And that's where life really started for me at West Texas, Chip. Uh, I'm sure you can probably relate, you know, or not so much because I know you're a small town boy from the big city of Hearn, Texas, but I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a little dude from a big city, man, Houston. And, but I'll tell you, man, uh, West Texas is probably the best thing ever happened to me. Um, you know, because it, it grounded me, it put me in a position to, to stop, look and learn other people, other cultures, even, even something you thought you knew, you know, a lot yeah. of times we think we know something just based on what we read or video we've seen, but until you live it, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's when you really learn, man. So what I got out of that place, man, was uh best in a small town, small town people, the best, some of, some of the best people in the whole world uh, met my wife there. Uh, we've been together 30 years, 28 years married. Uh, I'm still crazy about her as much as she get on my nerves. Uh, we have, we have three children, uh, from, from the marriage. Uh, and I have a little grandbaby. So my legacy is starting there. Uh, and now man, professionally, I'm a juvenile, uh, you know, probation officer. I'm a trainer. Um, you know, I, and I'm a, I, I'm in the community, man. I like to say I'm a community advocate as well. So it, it's so much, man. It's one of those things I just won't stop talking, you know, because I, I, I don't know where to start. You know, I get stumped on that stuff. Yeah. No, I think I think you you painted a great picture of, of sharing your background and you know some of those highlights uh, along the journey. But what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Oh man, you know, again, it's so many, and and I tell you, for me, man, I, I, one of my greatest accomplishments is is my family, my my children, uh, and uh, my wife. And I know you're saying three, but you know, my career and where I am. But I think my career and 
and doing community work is probably, I kind of put them uh, slightly together, but I think I enjoy more community work than I do uh, the work I do at work. And the reason why I kind of put them together, because I think what I do at work as a trainer uh, slash coach, man, I'm giving, I'm giving back. I'm giving to, you know, I like to think that I'm filling uh, my coworkers up you know, particularly new hires coming in, you know, I get them ready as best I can. I paint a picture and I want them to be successful for me in the training room with me is nothing. Uh, I am very unorthodox, uh, trainer. I'm big in connecting dots. I mean, I really want people to feel what it is I'm trying to convey, uh, to them, particularly in juvenile justice, because you're working with behaviors and working with young people. Yeah. And, you know, my, and my, and my, again, my family and my kids, man, crazy, crazy about them. My son, uh, my one and only uh, son, and I got two daughters um, um, and, and I got a grandbaby. So I'm just ex- excited about those folks. Well, man, just, just hearing you talk about your journey, hearing you talk about the things that you're proud of, I would consider that to be hugely successful. So, so let's hit on success. Uh, what right is your up. definition of success? Failure. Mm, come on. You know, uh, I've made a lot of bad mistakes and I've learned from a lot of bad mistakes. And, you know, uh, I think that sometimes uh, that that's that's a, a, it's a slippery slope. Sometimes it's a good thing and a bad thing because, you know, I, I always wanted to be above mediocrity. And I think, you know, to do that, sometimes you just got to take those steps to move forward, you know, slip and fall down, man, and get back up and learn from it. So, you know, I've fallen down a whole lot, uh, you know, my my journey. And I'm still falling. You know, it's, I'm still making mistakes at, 50, at 53 years old. Um, and the funny thing now is I'm not as bashful now as I was then. You know, I guess the reality is this is this is what we do. You know, we yeah. we fail, we fail often. And, you know, I'm moved by those who I, I look at you, Chip. I mean, I'm moved by your journey from where Chip was. You know, I remember Chip when he was uh, coming on the campus at West Texas. And now, you know, I'm being interviewed by the uh, Chip Baker, man. And I think of your journey, you know, I, I'm just amazed by it, man. Just amazed by it. I, I, you know, I truly appreciate that. I didn't really get to say that uh, at the beginning and I was going to say that in the intro, but I really, you know, I don't like to make it about me. I like to highlight the, <laughs> the people I'm interviewing, but I want to say this too. Uh, yes. On my recruiting trip, very first visit to, to West Texas a and I met you. And, yeah. and, you know, and I don't know if I've ever told you this, but you were one of the determining factors that, you know, allowed me that I was why I decided to go to West Texas A&M. Um, you know, genuine guy, you know, kind of fill me in on some things. And it's always good when you can go to a place where you're around real people. Right on. You know, right. and so uh, that genuine relationship and consent concern and care that has not stopped up until no. now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm truly grateful for that and truly appreciative of you and your family and the things that, that you do and like, like more so how you do what you do too. Cause there's a difference. You know what I'm right saying? On. People, yeah. people can do certain things, but, Man, when you do it with, with a passion and a love for folks and like you do, man, it's amazing. And so I'm, I'm truly grateful for you, Mo. Thank you, Chip. I, I appreciate that, man. And, and, and my journey has been, you know, that's been a blessing. You know, when I get affirmations like that, you yeah. know, that, that, that's, 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 that's more power pills, right? Like, so now I'm ready to go do it again. You know, it, yeah. it feels good. A lot of times that, that is my intent. My intent is to be impactful. People were impactful uh, with me and for me. And then there's some people that weren't very impactful. And because they weren't impactful, I make it a point that when I have a moment, I really want to try to be impactful too, because to give some, I think that's the greatest gift. And that's why I like community service 
yeah. uh, so much because, you know, Chip, I think the greatest gift ever is the gift of your sign, your time in mm-hmm. self. There's no greater gift than that. Uh, I, you, you, you couldn't even win a lottery ticket and say, Hey, Mo man, for all the stuff you've done for me, man, I'm gonna give you a million dollars. It, it won't ever, it won't ever match up to what I did for you at that time, you know, because I gave you something you wasn't expecting, you know, uh, whether it's, whether that's helping someone on the side of the road or giving someone a ride or giving someone $2 when they had nothing at all, you know, that's, that's the greatest gift ever. Uh, you know, I, I, I just, I, I, I just enjoy that, man. You know, and, and thank you for, you know, sharing that with me. You know, it just, it feels good to know that I made somebody feel good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it, it wasn't just one somebody. It's been a whole lot of somebody's. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. I want to make sure I say that too, but man, I um, appreciate that. As we close, if you don't mind sharing with the audience and where they can follow you and check you out and show you some love with all of the amazing things you got going on. Well, man, you know, I've, uh, I, I, I'll give you that information. I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook and I have things on Facebook. Well, Facebook, you can just catch, catch me by my name, Maurice Mo Hobson Jr. And you'll catch me there. And, uh, I have, I, I think I'm on Instagram as well and, and all that, but I'm not a huge, uh, social media is right now, man. You know, yeah. I want to get into what you're doing. I'm inspired by you. Uh, and I'm inspired by many people like you, you know, I've done radio uh, a couple of years back and, you know, I wish we can got to get back into it again. And we talk about it all the time, man. So again, I'm inspired that you're doing that, but for right now, uh, just to answer your question, man, you, you guys, if anybody's interested, you can always catch me on Facebook, uh, and uh, that's, you know, I, I go chime in there every now and then, but not all the time. There you go. Well, Mo, again, thanks so much for taking the time My man. to interview with the Success Chronicles. Truly appreciate you uh, and truly appreciate you taking the time to do this. Well, man, appreciate it. I can honestly say now I finally got into the Chronicles, man. So <laughs> it feel it feel really it really is an honor, man. It really yeah. is because Chip, I can't tell you enough, man. I am I'm beyond proud of you and what you're doing, Thank man. You. And you know, don't stop, man. You keep you keep going at it, bro. Really yes, excited sir. for you. Yes, sir. And thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. My man. Go get it.